What's good, Spidey Gang? MJ here, and today we're gonna be watching The Pursuit of Happiness. Shout out to Mr. Wave City on Patreon for requesting this one. We already know that The Pursuit of Happiness is a Will Smith movie, and his son, his actual son, is gonna be playing his son in this one. And from what I've heard, it's actually really, really sad. So I'm excited. Y'all know that I really enjoy these sad movies. It just gets me all in the feels, makes me wanna cry. So I'm, I'm really excited to watch this one, especially since I've heard so much about it, but I've never seen it. And I know you guys are excited to watch it with me, so if you end up enjoying my reaction don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel liking the video really does help me get my channel pushed across the platform i really really mean that liking it really does help me so please like the video and subscribing is just because you love me or enjoy me or like me or hate me i don't care you're subscribing for a reason <laughs> it's gonna be a good reason too also if you want to see my full reaction to this movie and every other movie and show on my channel as well as get them early and be able to request movies such such as Mr. Wave City here, go ahead and click that Patreon link down in the description below. Full movie, music, and show reactions are there. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this movie. <laughs> Okay, again, I've heard so much about this movie, but I've never, ever, ever seen it. So I, I'm so freaking excited. This is one of the movies that I wanted to watch on my own time, but never got the chance to. So I'm so freaking excited. I heard it's really sad though. <laughs> inspired by a true story, really? That's interesting, I didn't know that. It's inspired by a true story, not based off a true story. So we gotta keep that in mind. Okay, so this is him and his son. So cute. I'm already loving how peaceful the credits are in the beginning. Like it's so, like they don't make it super fast paced or anything. It's just really calm. I love that. I hate how normalized it's become to see like homeless people and hobos on the street. Like, why is that normalized? Like, we should be wanting to help these people out. You're only getting a couple of things, right? Just to look at that, you fucking choose better. Okay, well that's smart. Yeah, make a list. Oh, that's so sweet. Thing you're thinking of? I think so. All right, that's good. Oh, that's so sweet. At least the kid is acknowledging he can only get a couple things though. Some kids will throw fits if they have to only get a couple things. Maybe, we'll see. Give me a kiss. I'll talk to you later. At least they use their actual, his actual kid though too though. In happiness, there's no why in happiness, it's an I. I don't even know what he's saying. This is part of my life story. This part is called riding the bus. Riding the bus. That's just part of his story. <laughs> it's a time machine, isn't it? It seems like a time machine. That seems like a time machine. It's a time machine. <laughs> this machine on my lap. Well, he travels in the past with this machine. It, it, it is not a time, a time machine. machine. <laughs> it's not a time machine. Maybe you just don't need it, Chris. It's unnecessary and expensive. Well, maybe next. Thank you. Wow. It gave a slightly denser picture than an x-ray for twice the money. Why would you be selling a device like that? Yes. And we got the tax bill notice today. All right, that, that's what are you going to do about that? This is what we got to do. So is that the kid's mom, I guess? That's what happens when you're always in a rush. Uh, maybe next quarter. It's possible. Dang. I'd have to sell one more to pay off all of those tickets under my windshield wiper. <laughs> There goes your car. That was a nice car, too. Shoot. I would have just sold the car, to be honest. You walk and ride the bus everywhere anyways. Since when do you not like macaroni and cheese? Since birth. Since birth? Smart ass kid. It's for adults. Chris can't use it. She didn't know. What are you supposed to do with it? Every side the same color. Hmm, okay, so this is just the discovery of Rubik's Cubes. I don't think it's really for adults. I just think it's for, you know, really smart people. I couldn't do that. That means interest, right? And a penalty. Well, won't you let me do this? All right, just relax. Calm down. It does seem like she's stressing a lot. We can turn them around. The federal budget is out of control. If he solves the Rubik's Cube, he's a lot smarter than, than people are giving him credit for. Here, that ends September 30th. That I mean, he gonna, ha he, gonna be, he gonna have to get a real job. He gonna be smart as heck. So is the almost yeah, he's probably a genius for real. 
I'm pretty sure it's pretty easy to solve a Rubik's Cube now, but I'm just not that smart. I love the determination though. Look at him, working, working his butt off. I love the determination. They all look so damn happy to me. Yeah, yeah I got money. <laughs> you're pretty good with people and uh, you, I mean, I would assume you're good with numbers, right? Why couldn't I look like that? So why couldn't I look like that? That's so sad. The money literally makes the world go around. When I was a kid, I could go through a, a math book in a week. So I'm gonna let's see about the uh, job they got down there. What job? You better tell her a stockbroker. She's gonna be like, hmm? Stockbroker. Yeah. Not an astronaut? What? Man, it don't help that she's always demeaning him right in his ear. Like, lady, you do something. The heck? <laughs> so rude. This is what I'm trying to do for my family, for you and for Christopher. I get why she's so upset, but dude, like, come on. Like, he's really trying. You can see the determination and, and the goals in his eyes. I think that's the biggest thing for me. I can always see when someone actually has an end goal. If you don't have an end goal, then yeah, you're a waste of time. But it's not like he's just sitting here being a bum. He's trying. That's what I'm saying. I get why she's upset. She definitely has been working her butt off. But come on, like... It's not valuable. You can't sell it anywhere. Um, I, I can't even sell it, and it's my job. <laughs> this part of my life is called being stupid. I'm, thank you very much. I need to go. Bring, I'll bring this back. Thank you. Okay. Okay. You already seem unprofessional. Look at you. I guess I see why this this part is called being stupid. Why did I do that? Like I said. Uh, why did you do that? That's so extra. <laughs> wow, really? He just told you that it was not valuable. Like, what is the point of stealing it? What are you gonna sell it for? Some drugs? Like, you're not gonna get anything out of it. Trying to sleep. It's late. It just doesn't help that she's not being his rock though. Like ladies, you are supposed to be your man's piece. When they are going through a stressful time like this and have been really trying, you have to just be their rock and, and be behind them and be like, it's okay, you know, we're gonna get through this. Like you're stressing them out more. This is Jim Finnerty reporting for KJSF in Richmond. Hey, wake up. <laughs> He's so tired. Say goodbye to it cause I'm coming back without it. Goodbye and good riddance. You ain't had to add the good riddance part. <laughs> right. Is that an adjective? Uh, no, actually, it's a noun, but it's not spelled right. It's spelled right? <laughs> he said, is, <laughs> he says, is that spelled right? You don't learn that. I'm supposed to learn that. That's an adult word to show anger, other things. But don't try to explain that to your child. <laughs> it's good to inform him, but don't do that. We pick nicknames. Oh, yeah, what's it say? Hot Rod. <laughs> Hot Rod. Did you have a nickname? Yep, a 10 gallon head. <laughs> 10 gallon head. A 10 gallons of big hat. I was smart back then, so they call me 10 gallon head. You're still smart. You watch Bonanza at daycare? When do you, when do you watch it? Snack after your nap? After Love Boat. I made my list for my birthday. Yeah, what'd you, what'd you put on it? This is the sweetest little kid in the world. I'm watching TV all day. We're taking him out of here. Go pay more at other daycare if you don't like Navy TV. Or just take him everywhere with you. Can you at least put the dog upstairs in your room or something? Bye. Bye. It's so hard. Like, I feel so bad for him. They really are trying. Like, he's trying to find a job. He's trying to get some money. He's trying to just be there for his kid. Now you got no choice but to take that thing in there with him, though. <laughs> Jay Twistle, whose name sounded so delightful, like he'd give me a job and a hug. Very delightful. Weaknesses on my application. Okay, well, we'll start with this, uh, Chris, and we'll call you if we want to sit down. Yes, sir. Oh, at least he knows you're good at people. Seems very busy. No, don't. No, man, you have to go do this sales call. Come on, they gave you a chance. This part here is called running. Running, I was gonna say it's called being more stupid, to be honest. But I didn't know 
is that doctors and hospitals would consider them unnecessary luxuries. Dang. So if I lost one, it was like losing a month's groceries. I believe it, shoot. Hey, man, I... 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 Yeah, I don't even say nothing. <laughs> Just get off the bus. Don't even say nothing. Pointed at them. You're not supposed to have any of those. Yeah, I know. You have two now. <laughs> you have two now instead of one. <laughs> this kid is so cute. He really did try, though, man. Hey, mom. How'd you come back with a new one? <laughs> hey, 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 what do you mean? You don't know that that's a basketball. This could be an ant. Look at the dancing. <laughs> Come on, open him up. Oh, happy birthday, though. At least they still see, they still take time to get him gifts for his birthday. That's the sweetest thing in the world. It's all about the priorities. Make sure your kid knows that it's loved. This man is racketing a rug. You said that before. When I got pregnant, it'll be fine. So you don't trust me now? I don't care. I hate that she doesn't believe in him, man. Like, he really, like, she's supposed to be behind him through it all. Y'all got a whole kiss together. I don't even know if y'all are married, but still, you're supposed to be behind him through it all. Like, that's really messed up. Actually, I'm on my way to Noy Valley also. Uh, how about we share a ride? All right, get in. Screw it. Screw it. At least he's, look at how determined he is, though. I can do it. No, you can't. No one can. It's bullshit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can do it. Let him try. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. oh wow. You you uh, really messed it up. Uh, <laughs> it really messed it up. The centerpieces never move. So if, it, if it's yellow in the center, that's the yellow side. Right. Look at this. <laughs> Why is everyone trying to freaking solve the Rubik's Cube? Uh, yeah, I can. No, 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 you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can. I'm telling you. No, he can. literally did it. See, that's all I ever do. <laughs> Hey man, this could probably prove it to him though. So if you could do this, look at look at his face. Holy cow! Yeah, I was gonna say if you could prove this to him, he'll probably really actually like hire you. <laughs> Think you're really smart or something. Look at that. He's just breathing so hard. That's crazy that he's actually doing it though. And then what, what if he finishes it before the cab ride is over? That's like a, a record breaking time. <gasps> he did it! <laughs> They're so shocked. They're like, what the? F Are you kidding me? Uh, it, two, a uh, couple blocks. Just to flip around. Okay. Dang. Does he even have money for this taxi? He's gonna try to make a run for it. Yeah, he's gonna try to make a run for it. Don't do it, man. But then you forgot your device. I should have paid you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Kick your ass. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> I knew he was gonna try to make a run for it because he doesn't have the money. That's not his fault. The other dude freaking didn't pay. He's chasing him. I'm going to kill you. I guess that's why this part of his life is called running. <laughs> All he's doing is running for people. Oh, heck no. I don't even know how this taxi driver is still chasing him, like. Oh shoot. No, no, no. Dang. Oh, he's gonna be so upset. And you're not gonna be able to find that guy again. He thought it was a time machine. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? I have my things together and I'm taking our son and we're gonna leave now. Aww.
that maybe happiness is something that we can only pursue and maybe we can actually never have it yeah yeah i i kind of believe that you can only pursue it you cannot achieve it linda linda wow But then taking the kid is wild, though. Don't let him say bye to his son or nothing. Like, uh, go ahead. I have one. Okay, write this number down so you can call my secretary, Janice, and she can give you all the specifics. You better remember. 864 0256. 0256. 4796. All right, call her tomorrow. Yes, sir. 415. 415. Gotta remember the numbers. 119, 120. Double overtime. Moons hits a three-pointer. Bro, shut up. You're telling me too many numbers. And you owe me money. Yeah. You owe me $14. I'm going to get that tape. Come on, man. You know he need this money. 14's a number. 14's a number. Come on, man. You know he needs that money, man. That kid is never going to forgive his mother for taking him away from his father. Never, never. They never forgive them. If they're old enough to remember, they never forgive them. Even if they understand what they're going through, they don't forgive them. I'm not happy anymore. I'm just not happy. Then go get happy, Linda. Just go get happy. Christopher is living with me. You can't just, even if you don't want to be with him and you're not happy with him, you cannot just take his child away from him like that. You can't. You just can't do that. You told me she was coming to pick me up today. Talk to mom earlier. Everything is fine. Okay. That kid knows everything's not fine. Don't lie to him. You're staying at home where you, where you belong, all right? Aww. That kid is the sweetest thing in the world. It's so sad that, that he has to be in, in this situation, but he's really trying. I just, I gotta have some more time. To, I, I got my son up in here. All right, one week, and you paint it. <laughs> you paint it. Are we really? Oh, that big old burger. Mmm. Burger look good. Here, Chris, you suck. What? We verify 9.30 tomorrow morning. Yeah, you gotta stay until this thing clears. Wow. I can't spend a night here. I, I have to pick up my son. We verify 9.30 tomorrow morning, sir. Wow. Who can take I take care of him. Maybe we can go and have social services pick him up. Can I make, have my phone call, please? Wow. This is tough. Linda. I'll bring him back around six. All right. All right. Um, thank you. The fact that he's so scared that she's just going to take his son, like... I feel so bad for this man. Like, he did not ask for any of this. Like I said, if I get with a man like this who doesn't have money, who doesn't have a job, and I can see the determination and the end goal, I can see that he's really, really, really fighting. I'm not going to sit here and diss him. I'm not going to sit here and leave him and, and that's it, you know? I'm not going to do that. I just, I can't do that. That's just not the type of person I am. Oh my god, dude, you look insane. They're like, why would you show up to an interview like this? Oh god. He's looking at him like, oh my gosh, there's no way you came like that. Jay. Yes, sir. Many times have you seen Chris? One too many, apparently. <laughs> First in your class, high school? How many in the class? Uh, 12. It was a small town. <laughs> there wasn't a lot in the class. And I don't know the answer. I'm going to tell you that I don't know. But I bet you what, I know how to find the answer. Mm-hmm. I love that. If a guy walked in for an interview without a shirt on, and I hired him, what would you say? Unprofessional. He must have had on some really nice pants. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> I mean, he must have had on some really nice pants. <laughs> he didn't get he didn't get that job, man. That sucks. There's no salary. No. I was not aware of that. My circumstances have changed some, and I need to be certain. That's how an internship is. You don't get no salary. You know what I'll look like if you back out. You know what I'll look like to the partners? An ass. A hole. Yeah, ass a hole. <laughs> God. There was no salary. Not even a reasonable promise of a job. I mean, you could still get the job if you work hard enough, but again, you'll have to have that determination and keep pushing yourself. 
which I could still try to sell. If I sold them all, maybe we might get by. That's gonna be hard. I'm surprised his landlord is being that lenient because I definitely would not. She didn't come back with his son. Like, really? You said six o'clock, ma'am. Okay, baby. Oh. Ma'am, you know that boy was heavy. You should have just passed him on. <laughs> just laid him down. He did his head. I'm going to New York. <sighs> New York? Why New York of all places? He should be with his mom. I should have him, right? You know you can't take care of him. Okay, that is not what you should have said. You should not have said she can't take care of him because she could have definitely got the instincts to take care of him. But you should have been like, you know, yeah, sure, he needs his mom, but he needs a father figure too, you know? He's going to need me. So I'm going to stand out in my program. Salesman to interns backwards. No, it's not. I got to go. Wow. Like I said, I don't think he should have said that, but I definitely think that she needs to acknowledge that just because he needs his mother does not mean he doesn't also need his father. It is gonna hurt her though, leaving her child behind. It's gonna hurt her. Tell him I love him, okay? I know you'll take care of him, Chris. Yeah, that's one thing you know for sure. He loves his son. You gonna make sure he good. God, it's just everything in life piling up. Your your girl leaving you. You having no money for rent. You 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 just got a job, which is I guess the light of it all. But you don't get paid from that job, so now you gotta hold out so you can actually get the job. So yeah, that's gotta be tough. What is that lever on the wall? What is that supposed to be? That looks weird. I need someone to tell me what that was. That looked weird. I'd be very pleased to accept your invitation. That yes, that's that's it. I mean, he just told me he wouldn't go into the program, so I, I think that's a worthy message. Why are you saying is that all, lady? If you look at the bigger picture of this all, it is really, really sad, though. Like, super sad. Be careful with that. What? Be careful. So be careful with that. What? Slams the, <laughs> slams the thing. So obviously he couldn't pay rent, so he got evicted. So what's happening here? Where are they going? Motel, got it. <laughs> this kid. I love how like the kid knows what's going on, but he's so optimistic. He's just like, no, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I, I'm happy. I get my presents, I eat my food. Then we're gonna go sell a bone density scanner. How about that? Wanna do that? No. <laughs> no, I don't wanna do that, that's boring. Shoot, he might just go pro. A lot of kids can't do that. <laughs> That's kind of the way it works, you know, and I, I, I was below average. You know, so, whoa. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> he, well, he just made his. Not this. I don't want you out here shooting this ball around all day and night, all right? All right. Okay. No, don't do that. If he wants to be a basketball player, let him be a basketball player. See, why you gotta discourage him? Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. No, oh, don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do. You can do whatever you put your mind to. You gotta protect it. Yeah. You want something, go get it. Period. Period. I love that. That's so sweet. He was like, he was just talking at the moment, you know, probably feeling discouraged himself. But then he realized what he said to his own son and he reversed it and said, don't even let nobody, not even me tell you that you can't not do something. That's so sweet. Oh my God, that's sweet. When's mom coming back? Dad, when's mom coming back? I don't know, Christopher. <laughs> I do not know the answer to that. That he drowned it and went to heaven. God, why didn't you save me? And God said, I, I sent two books. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that joke. Yeah, it's very funny, man. Come here. You didn't even listen to the joke. That joke was funny. He sent him two big boats. He got a bill of sale here. Yes. Um, all the information you'll need. Uh, thank right. you very much for your business. Wow, finally sold one. Hallelujah. Hey, you want one of those? Oh, it's okay. 
Come on, you got one. Which one? Aww. He knows that his dad don't got a lot of money, but his dad is still trying to make sure he's happy. Like, that is the sweetest thing in the freaking world. You see how he said no thanks? Because he really did want it, but he knew his dad ain't got no money for that. It's called internship. 1200. Internship. If you even have to babysit for them, you will do whatever it takes to familiarize them with our package. I love how it's so crowded and, and chaotic in here. He's trying to keep up. Drink it was simple. X number of calls equals X number of prospects. Mm -hmm. X number of customers equals X number of dollars in the company's pocket. Mm -hmm. Be safe, score 100. Let's take a break. Be back in 10. Be back in 10 and he ran off. <laughs> Where are you going? You don't even got that long. Because we didn't bother with taxes and it was still a pain in the ass. It was funny what you remember. No, don't do it. I've so seen an old friend of mine. Uh, do, do you mind? No, oh, go ahead. All right, good talking to you, sir. Don't, don't make a scene out of it. Oh, Lord, you have 10 minutes. His priorities are so messed up. You have 10 minutes, dude. Damn! Just act like nothing happened. Hey, hey asshole! Are you alright, asshole? Why are you calling me an asshole? Where's my shoe? What? You knocked off my shoe! I don't know where your shoe is! Dang. He just got hit by a whole car and he's just like, he just don't care? Shoe. Wow. Hey, you just got hit by a car. Go to the hospital. She does not care about that. Competitive internship at Dean Witter. It's sad that he has to be this dedicated. Dad, you don't have a shoe. <laughs> I like how everyone is pointing it out. Dad, you're missing a shoe. Like, <laughs> why are you walking around with one shoe? You got hit by a car? <laughs> He's so shocked. Yep, I was running in the street. Don't do that. You can get hurt. <laughs> you should know better than to run in the street. I'll remember that next time. <laughs> His priorities are so messed up. Who wants to give me a donut? Chris? Yes, sir. Feeling underrated and unappreciated. No, like, th that's what they want, though. Like, that's what an intern does. You're low-key convincing them more that you really are determined. The 22 home. All right, I, I got that for you, Ralph. I'm, I'm gonna get that for you. Wow, not even playing the hotel people? They'd stay till seven, but I had Christopher. I had to do in six hours what they'd do in nine. Wow. After two months, I still didn't have time to work my way up a sheet. Wow, you got a lot of people to get through. Monday night football, buddy. Yes, sir, thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye. He gone. And you have to jimmy that. You have to jimmy the key. And the other doors don't unlock. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh, man. Just him being nice. It's like, I have a feeling all this good karma will come back to him. You know, he'll end up getting a lot of nice things happening to him. But I just feel like it sucks. It sucks so bad, man. Because he's just trying to be a nice person. And he just... Here's the phone, Mr. Ruben. Thank you. Keep on Shoot, I would just use a card to get to Mr. Ribbon's place. No. I'll just drive the car there. Keep on God. Come on, man, you gotta get there. No, you're gonna get this man's car ticket. Trying not to get by a car again, shoot. Oh, you just missed him. Uh, thank you. Dang. No, not a ticket. I have some bills and a parking ticket. We don't have a car anymore. Yep, I know. <laughs> How you get a parking ticket? You don't get a car. <laughs> this kid is so smart, though. We'll go to the football game. Really? Possibly. All right. All right. Let's see, he tried to say something to cheer him up. Oh my goodness, so sweet. Possibly. Really? <laughs> she said possibly, he's talking about really? <laughs> Shut up, he's talking about something really. Don't make no promises on this kid, man. He's already kind of holding his own with everything going on. 
Me wish he could live this life. I don't understand. You don't understand what? Are we going to the game? I said possibly. Can you shut up? <laughs> you said possibly. Maybe. It means we have a good chance. And what does possibly mean? I know what it means. What does it mean? What does it mean? We're not going to the game. How did you get so smart? You're smart. It's true. See? Very true. His daddy's smart. Are we there? Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh, you need to come up. Oh, no, actually, we were in the neighborhood visiting a very close friend of ours, and, and I, I just wanted to take. <laughs> Look at him, like, you lying bastard. Uh, we are upper deck. We got a box. Come on. You want to sit in the box? No. No. A, a private section. It's more comfortable. You want to go? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nah, shoot, screw it. We don't have a car. Ah! I think I got stung by a bee. You all right? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher, shut up! You talk too much! <laughs> Carl, I'm fine. Let me see. Christopher, sit back. <laughs> he said, let me see. <laughs> the disturbers of mine. Questions I had whether all this was good, whether I'd make it. You gonna make it, man. Yeah! It was a way to another place. You're not even looking at the game, you're looking at him. There's not a chance. I'm gonna let you direct our fun. It's just not gonna happen anytime soon, buddy. Come on, relax. Aww. Wow, but he just like crushed his dreams like that. Hey, I'll thank talk you very to you much. Later, right? Yes, sir. I'm gonna give you a call. Hey, nice All to meet right. you, Chris. Okay, give me a call. Okay? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Aww. And they get to go to their big, nice house. It's so sad. He's like, this kid is still happy though. That's the crazy part, but he really is trying. We have sold all our scanners. That's wonderful. Uh, yes. The fastest animal in the world. Jackrabbit. <laughs> no, what the heck? That day, that letter brought me back to earth. The IRS. It's called paying taxes. Ugh. It can't be too late. That. that that's my money. How is somebody just gonna just take my money? Mm, that's how the IRS works. Government sucks, but you know. There was only $21.33 left in my bank account. I was broke. Aww. Bro is showering with a rag. I thought I didn't know you that now. Why would you think you don't owe me my money? I helped you move. Wow, are you kidding me? You it's me. my $14. Go get my money. All of me. Get my dollars. money, Wayne. Wow. I mean, he needs it. Like, he has $21. You're giving $14, so have $30, $35. Like, he needs that. Like, Dad, should I go? Sure, man. Why not? See, but don't make the kids sad just because you feeling down. You still got to have your child hold hope, you know? Oh my gosh, this, oh my gosh, this old man. Stay right Dad, here. Dad, where are you going? Hey, what did I say? Did you not hear him? He said, stay there. No, he told you stay there. Stubborn little kid. I gotta get back to the 60s, man. I wanna see Jimi Hendrix do that guitar on fire. That's not a time machine. Dad, where are we going? Be quiet, go get your things. Yeah, he's 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 letting the kid see too much of what he's going through, and the kid is is gonna be really sad. Like, oh. Doctor Tell can't get back to meet you. I'm sorry. Oh. Give me a second. I'm sure I can. I'm gonna be able to figure it out. Chris. Oh God. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I'll see you soon. Oh. That poor, poor man. I feel so horrible for him. He really is trying. All his stuff is gonna be outside too, cause he didn't pay. Yep, I knew it. Come on, don't do all that. Don't do all that. Your child's right there. Don't do it. We can't stay here tonight. Yes, we can. Open the door. Right. 
you what I said. Let's go. He can't do anything. Like he's a kid. He doesn't understand. He doesn't understand, man. Come on. Go ahead. Take your basketball. You can take your basketball. That's okay. It's something you can carry. <laughs> I hate that the kid, like I said, has to be in the middle of this. He's over here throwing tantrums and upset because he can't really understand what's going on. But he understands what's going on, you know? That's so sad. Where are we going? Why well, you always gotta scream, man? Don't worry about where we going. I feel like the subway is such a shady place to stay, especially with your kid. It's not a time machine. Guy said it was a time machine. It's not a time machine. He was wrong. Obviously, he was wrong. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. Why are you lying to your son like that? <laughs> it is a time machine. You want to push it? Okay. Okay. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Some place from before. You got to close your eyes. You close your eyes. I want to see. You close your eyes. I want to see. Dinosaur. Clear. You don't see all these dinosaurs. Look around. Look at all these dinosaurs. <laughs> you don't see all these dinosaurs. <laughs> I guess it's the imagination that matters. Here's a cave. Come on. Go, go, go. Oh, hurry. Hurry. This cave stinks a little bit. <laughs> That's what I would say. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're going to stay in this bathroom. Oh. <laughs> that poor little boy. That is the saddest thing in the world, man. Like, okay, why are you still trying though? Like, after like twice, I would have just walked away. Why are you still trying? I'm trying to move a couple guys from that pack. We're gonna get them over to us so they got me going out there golfing. Awesome. Don't lie, man. We need some place to stay. Oh, we don't take men here. It's only women and children. Oh God. We gotta stay together. We got. We we were. Okay. 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 Listen. You gotta have some place. Just, uh, you hurry up and get over there, cause there's a line. Where is it? Where is it? Come Eddie, on. Eddie Ellison Jones. He's really trying, man. Jeez, that's a line. You're not making it in the front of that line, man. No way. Came from work. I got my son. I was here on time. We were here on time. Sliced in front of him in line. Aww. He was so frustrated. He's just trying to find somewhere to stay. Oh. Right here, come on. We gotta make sure Captain America's warm in there. Oh my god. This is so sad. Just, I'm gonna be right there. I'll leave the door open a little bit and I'll be able to hear you if you call me. I just, I think what's hurting me even more is the fact that even though he's going through all this, his son is still a priority to him. Like, I'm gonna go out there. Um, I'm gonna leave the door open. I'll be right up the stairs. I'll be able to hear you if you call me. So sad. You gotta trust me. Oh, so sad. Can you hear me? Yeah. Do you trust me? Yeah. So sad, man. Like it's it's sweet, but it's just so so bittersweet at the same time. Like it's just so sad. And he's really determined too. Like. Hey, why don't you leave me? We can't. We're gonna have a different room later. Go. So you have to be there on time to get, be able to stay the, the night. I learned to finish my work quickly. I had to finish quickly to get in line at Glide by five. Mm-hmm. Yes, shut up! Shut up! I don't tell him to shut up. Why don't you let the lady in? Hey, back up. Hey, man, that's not back cool. Up. Back that's up! Back up! So hostile. You're showing this to your child, and that's not okay. Come on. Oh God, man. 
Hearing people's stories is so sad, man. I don't know if I've ever talked about this like on on this channel, at least recently, but I'm pretty sure if you're like a, a really old supporter, then you know that I was I was homeless at one point while doing content. You could tell in some of my videos I was moving around. I had a, a, a GoFundMe page and everything. And, and luckily I was only homeless for a few months, but these people who, who cannot get off of their feet, it sucks. It really like, it doesn't just kill you physically because you're always hungry. It doesn't just kill you physically because you're cold or, or, or you know, your back's hurting because you're sleeping on, on things that aren't very comfortable, but it hurts you mentally. Mentally, it kills you. Come on, man. We just need you to score 100%. Hey, you know. Damn, he finished that fast too, huh? I, I, I have to go somewhere, but I finished the whole thing too. Good. You? Yeah. Mmm, late competition. I struggled with the, with the essay question on the back. What did you write? Essay question? On the back. Oh. <laughs> he didn't write <laughs> He didn't write the question on the back. I left my wallet upstairs. Run up and grab that for you, Mr. Frog. No, I gotta be at Cal Bank at four and I'm late. Ah, oh, he's gonna give him his last $5. Five is, five is good? Five is lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Hey man, he's always so nice. I'm gonna just pray that it comes back to him. I'm gonna just pray. I really, <laughs> I really want to cry again because like $5 is a lot to him. You like it? <laughs> I make sure the kids are always eating. You, you rarely, if you notice something, you rarely see him eating throughout this movie because he's too busy trying to feed his kid and actually work hard for this job. I will. He's donating blood. I'm assuming that's what he's doing. Donate blood to get some money. 20, one, two, three, four. 24? That's it? How much? $8. What's that? $24 for donating blood is insane. I know that now when you donate plasma, I think my aunt got like a hundred bucks one time. Unless you want to sleep in the room with me for the rest of your life. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind. Yeah, you will. You will, right. When you get older, you'll definitely mind. Why don't you get some sleep, okay? Did mom leave because of me? No. Oh my god, he did not just ask that. Did mom leave because of me? Mom wanted to take you with her. It's not you, no. Mom left because of mom, and you didn't have anything to do with that, okay? Okay. Oh my god, a little child just thinking about that is so sad. Oh, good papa. He said you're a good papa. All right, go to sleep. I love you. I love you. Oh my god. He said you're a good papa. <laughs> oh my god. I think this hit uh, too personally. <laughs> this movie is hitting a little, a little too personal. <laughs> Anything else? No, that's good. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. you ready? Look how happy the kid is. Even the kid knows. You can go back to the cave if you like. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> I hope not. Why not? That cave was not a nice place, kid. Chris, thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Dean. Take care, Chris. Hey, you, you made all the right moves here. Thanks, Chris. Oh, God. So, one more day. Listen, whatever happens, you've done a fantastic job, Chris. Yes, Mr. He better get that job. Chris, come. Oh my god, I'm praying, man, I'm praying. It's just, there's a lot of upsides to being in, a, like, not to be in the situation, but in this situation. But he's been working hard enough, man. He's been very good. If you'd like to work here as a broker, would you like that, Chris? Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at him, he's about to cry. He can't even hold it back. Welcome. Was it as easy as it looked? No. No, sir. No, no, sir. Hell no. <laughs> I almost forgot. Thank you. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> He's breaking up. This 
little part is called happiness. Yeah, yeah, you finally achieved it. You don't know how to feel right now. He's losing it. Oh my God. God was really looking out for him on that one. Oh man, that's the sweetest thing in the world. Imagine him telling his son that he did it. <laughs> Don't ever believe you can't do nothing. That's the lesson here. You work for what you want. How many planets are there? Seven. Seven? Nine. Nine. Who's the king of the jungle? Gorilla. The gorilla? <laughs> Shelby. Shelby who? Shelby coming around about 100 comes. <laughs> this kid is hilarious. Knock knock. Who's there? Nobody. Nobody who? Nobody who? <laughs> Nobody's there. <laughs> this kid is so smart and sweet, man. In 2006, Chris Gardner sold a minority stake in his brokerage firm in a multi million dollar deal. Oh my gosh. I'm emotional. <laughs> We love a happy ending. We always love a happy ending. I think, again, the um, the turning table in it all was... Because if they would have just showed a story of a man who was poor, who was homeless, who got off his feet and got a job, it would have been it would have been inspiration. It would have been sweet. It would have been nice, you know? But I think the turning point in that entire movie was that there was a child included. A five-year-old child who doesn't understand what's going on around him. And his he could see that his father's going out his way to care for him. I don't even know how else to explain it. I just know that it was genuinely the sweetest thing in the entire world. Like that is the definition of good karma. That's the definition of good karma. You know, you do good, you you be good to people and the good will come back to you. And that is just, that's just beautiful. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Again, thank you so much, Mr. Wave City for requesting this movie on Patreon. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right there. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. This has been MJ and don't ask about Spider-Man. Peace.